Hey everybody, we're gonna start this new thing. It may not be every day, it may be every day. I'm not gonna promise. I'm just gonna start it and see if we like it. Um, I've talked to you all a lot about how I wrap up my day with journaling. And I sort of have written thoughts on how the day went, what I'm thinking about tomorrow. And I thought, well, let's just do it on video and let's get tactical involved. So now I'm sitting here and I have a big head and he has a little head. I squishy your head. I squishy your head. You know, he just said, say what you just said to me. It just indicates that you're the primary for the video. I'm the primary for the video. I think we will work on getting some audio mics for these just to make the audio better, but, or a directional mic or something. I don't know. I'm playing with the new toy though. I have like this little tripod thing. So how did today go for you? Went fine for me. What'd you get done? A lot of miscellaneous stuff, moving stuff around mostly. Yeah. Okay, so tactical, I got back from being out of, out of the hauler and I came back way later than I thought I was going to. And right now his truck is in the shop. It's been in the shop for an effing year. And that's really a pain in the butt because we're sharing one vehicle. I have a Mighty Max that needs a head gasket. I'm actually getting a bid for that getting replaced after I get some maintenance work done on my Tahoe. He has a Toyota that, what does it need? It needs bushings for the suspension, which I just got in. And the car needs to be rebuilt or replaced. So I ordered parts to upgrade to a different carburetor because it's kind of a known issue with that truck is the carburetor is not the best. Okay, so there's four cars at the Holler Homestead and one car works. What that means is every time he wants to go somewhere, he needs to borrow my car or borrow Nighthawk's car or borrow somebody's car. Is that frustrating for you, Tactical? Mildly irritating. Mildly irritating. And... So he, I came back and the trailer is just full of all this scrap metal, which was not on the plan. Because every morning we meet, we have plans. On his to-do list was to replace my light switches today in the bathrooms. Because both bathrooms need full replacement of all the light switches because they're old. And I was like, oh, scrap metal. He must be going to the scrapper. Nope, he went to the dump. Comes back, pops in the door. He's like, I'm doing a second dump run. I got home and guess what? There was more garbage. So he did two oh, dump no. runs today. I knew there was more garbage. Yeah. Two dump runs today. And I was like, great. I didn't bring up the light switches. Did you do the light switches? No, I didn't do the light switches because apparently the printer for her coffee roaster is on the same breaker. And I didn't feel like interfering with coffee roasting. So the printer, you're welcome. Everybody that got coffee orders out today, the printer for the coffee roasters on the same breaker. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Because it killed all the power in your bedrooms. Okay. The real problem was I was on the live stream, probably. Uh, <laughs> I already used the printer before six. I didn't need it again. Also, this is this is a Zoldak mug in the wild. I'm having my last cup of coffee. So, with all of that in mind, what do you think you're going to be doing tomorrow? So, you got a couple dump runs done. What else did you get done today? Got a bunch of stuff moved around from up here and... The carport back there i got a generator lugged back down the hill so i will probably later tonight be actually starting that generator and plugging my welder into it to see if it actually works okay so welding apparently is on the agenda i don't know we'll see okay i want to know if i look there am i looking at you or if i look there am i looking at you or if i look there am i looking at you i don't know which one looks better? Left. I know, the camera is there. You guys just tell me in the comments. One, two, three. Just tell me which one's best. One, two, or three. Okay. So tomorrow, you're going to mess with your welder. What needs big picture to be done in the holler? I'm also getting ready to get the boys moved again. Just moved the girls, so they're good for a little bit. And then I've got... A round of new stuff in post that just came in recently, so I gotta finish grinding the tips onto those. But big picture, what's our big project right now? Workshop? 
an AP system. Yeah. So I, I did come up with a plan for the AP. Oh, there's a plan for the AP system. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, you should totally tell me the plan for the AP system if you want to get your way, because I'll just agree to everything tomorrow. Probably. Okay. So I mean, I'm just saying that would be my strategy in your shoes. So tomorrow he's. What else are you gonna do tomorrow? Oh, we'll right. sail a day goes. So we're kind of we're not making big plans tomorrow, and that's because of me. So today, I still have a podcast to get out. The podcast is already recorded, so it's just the audio production. I have a live stream at seven with Louise Milliman. It's gonna be a great one. And I have to pre-populate the live stream, the Self Reliance Festival live stream for tomorrow. Once that's done, then my day is done. And I will take the longest bath in history. And maybe not the longest bath in history, but oh, ow. But maybe a, a fairly long bath for me. Nice Epsom salt soap because I'm trying to keep myself cheerful. And at 6.30 in the morning, 6.45 in the morning, we leave. And I'm finally getting this tooth dealt with, I think. I just told him. And he has to drive me. Why? Because I'm going to be sedated. So tomorrow at 7 o'clock... You're getting the coal after dark because I will still be loopy at seven o'clock. And I may or may not be able to feel my face. I don't know. So today I'm pre organizing with the other people who are going to be on the Self Reliance Festival's live stream that I may need them to run it and just be there. And if I'm drooly, I'm just going to cover my face like this. I'll just cover my face like that. Whatever. But. Pretty much how today went was not as planned. My original plan was all the coffee orders get out. That got done. I do a live stream with Mark, Mark, and that got done, Mark Johnson. And I didn't think it was going to get done. I wanted to put four hours in on marketing collateral development for Self-Reliance Festival. That did not get done. It did not get done. That was one of my three things that did not get done. Some more of it will get done. Some of it got done. I wanted to get my video concept to Austin. I have my video concept. I have somebody else giving me feedback on it and then I'm going to get that to Austin so that he finally has the feedback from me. And then I wanted to prepare for tomorrow. What I didn't know going into today was if I would be having surgery on this tooth tomorrow or not. And so it's been really hard to plan anything this week for me because of that being up in the air. But I started this morning at an endodontist and that was at 8 a.m. It was an hour drive from the house. They cut me loose at like 8.30. I started heading. I'm like, sweet. I'm going to get home at 9.30. My day is like lit. I'm going to get so much more done because this went so fast. What time did I get home? I don't even know. It was after lunch. It was after 11. And here's why. Because I-40 was closed today. So I'm driving, 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 not driving. I'm like, well, this is taking a while. Good thing I peed before I left. Then I watched it, and I'm like, hey, guys, what's going on? I'm like, tactical, what's going on? He forgot I asked, so he didn't tell me what was going on. And then an hour later, I'm like, tactical, really, what's going on? He's like, oh, I forgot. A semi flipped and was blocking all lanes of traffic, and they had to get it out. So I had already sat, like, I went from sitting in drive, expectant, to putting it in park, to screw it, I'll turn the car off, to talking to people outside on the road, because at that point, we all knew we weren't going anywhere. <laughs> to um, integrating some anarchy that I won't talk about on video that resulted in me getting out of that situation before the road was open again. And other people copied me, I'm sure. And I got home at 11, and I'm, you know, probably the freeway is open now. But at 12.30, it still wasn't open. So I'm glad I didn't get stuck there. Uh, so that means I didn't get a lot done that I wanted to get done. And... What that means is like when I when I grade myself every day, like in my journal, I'd be like, yeah, this really sucked, but at least I got out of that situation. And I got home, took a few minutes to chill, and then jumped in and I was like, what can I do next? Well, I have a live stream. We'll make sure that gets promoted. Do the live stream. Okay, the next live stream needs to be promoted. Get that promotion out. Had a call with Tool Man Tim about something really exciting we're doing. We're going to be doing a radio show on February 22nd, which is a Sunday from, no, 20, ooh, no, February 19th, it's a Sunday, I was like, oh no, I just scheduled that during our free workshop for my three things, so it's the 19th of February, and it's going to be two or four hours or so, and we're doing 
sort of a meeting of the minds radio show. He did a 24 hour live stream over New Year's and I talked to him and I was like, well, what would be really cool is if we do the segments and then you and I talk in between segments or we get other people on in between segments. So it's sort of half live, half pre-recorded and we'll get content from people we know. So we've started reaching out to people and we need 12, 15 minute segments from people and we have six already and uh, you know, we'll, if we get more than 12 from people, then we'll just put that to the next month. And we're kind of trying to make this as a way where we have a really fun, entertaining thing that's at a size that people can digest it. It's at a time of day where most people are going to be out of church, even on the West Coast, unless you go to church all day. It starts 1 o'clock Pacific on Sunday, the 19th of February. And then it also can help us cross-pollinate each other's channels by promoting stuff so that was that was a fun conversation then he just he and i just shot the shit about what events we're speaking at i was kind of like should i should i reach out to prepper camp and go speak there or not if they'd even be interested and he's like well here's how it is and i was like oh that might be fun and then i realized i'm pretty sure it's right at the same time as the midwest prepper meetup that happens with uh tag and Bobby Spags and Data and all those guys we've had on. And I'm definitely going to that. I've already, I want, I told him, I'm like, I really want to go to this one. And that's in September. So if it's at the same time, I, I need to figure out all the dates and make sure. So if I can go to both, I will. But if not, the Midwest Prepper Alliance gets gets priority this year because they've been really good to me. They've, uh, th they've helped me through some hard problem solving things and they've been supportive. I've been overcommitted and not as follow throughy as I like to be this year. That has changed. So, anyway, it's been a great day when I've had productivity and time. I've gotten a lot done. I'm tired of the pain, but I'm not letting it, it get in my way. And my thoughts in my journal would be as follows like, I would bitch about the, the, the tooth, I would bitch about getting stuck on I 40. And tomorrow, my one three thing is to get that dealt with all the way if I can. And then I have been told not to make any major decisions or basically I'll stay off social because last time I went on social after they did this, I said some really funny things and I probably shouldn't say really funny things. But moving forward, I've had some thoughts on like my word of the year is breakthrough. And breakthrough for me, so when you choose a word of the year, like it's cool because it gives you something to focus on. But you end up having, like, all of the things that are the anti-version of that word, right? Remember the year of balance? How did we like the year of balance tactical? Right. He didn't like the year of balance. I did find balance by the end of the year, but it was, like, in the last three weeks. It took you a year to figure it out. took me a lot. I had a lot of unbalance. So breakthrough, for me, is that I want to break through a ceiling I've set for myself and 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 personally grow and grow the business and get the network really cohesive and other networks, you know, interlocked and get out there and speak more and do all of the, reach more people with our message. <laughs> so <clears throat> in order to set the foundation for breakthrough, I decided to do a really quick update of my bathroom so that just the floor and the tub only take a week. There'll be another update video on that after next weekend. We might actually finish the bathroom in the next eight weeks. Anyway, and then um, the tooth situation came up, which is giving me a lot of pain. And what I'm learning about breakthrough as a result of this is you have to keep your priorities in check and you have to keep moving forward no matter what happens, even if your tooth hurts or you're tired that day. And... And that's what I'm learning about breakthrough is if I'm going to break through, I have to break through. And sometimes there's glass shards along the way that hurt. And there's a glass shard that hurts a lot right now. I wonder what's going to happen to me relationship wise with people around me. Hopefully those don't hurt too bad. But um, it's, it's just interesting lessons. I'm already learning about my word of the year. I don't usually have so much clarity on a word of the year lesson as I have right now. So that's been interesting. Do you have a word of the year? He doesn't mess with that stuff. I have a different philosophy on stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. What's your philosophy? Well, like, everybody looks at, like, New Year's resolutions and whatnot, and my 
personal opinion is if it's worth making a New Year's resolution to do, it's probably worth doing right now. And nine times out of ten when I have a conversation with somebody about something like that, doing it as a New Year's resolution is an excuse to not do it right now. Okay. So. Fair. If I need to, for example, tear one four-wheeler apart and use parts off of that to f fix another four-wheeler, I just go on and do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I spent my weekend doing. I did really good with staying on plan diet-wise in January. I had, you know, some cheat days. Uh, I have been tested, like, unlike any other way the last seven days because I can't chew. And Tactical solved my problem for me, so now I'm just eating baby food. Keto baby food. Is what it is. I asked and she said it was basically like a meat flavored tomato soup. <laughs> it is. It's a meat flavored tomato soup. That's what I'm eating. And I don't know. We're going to have... Uh, so yesterday I made cauliflower crust pizza with homemade like home canned tomato sauce and some other stuff and um i'm a really good cook right yeah i'm a really good cook i'm not a chef but i'm a really good cook i've learned how to cook by doing because i just cook all the time and i like cooking i find it relaxing and i learn new techniques and i'm good at mixing flavors because i'm a super, super taster so all of that's going to be over on the harvest eating channel when i finally get off my back that's right then Thanks, Brian. You just joined our video. I'm just going to leave that in there. There might be some conversations because I forgot to go into quiet mode before we turn this on. So, I am good at that. And so it's very rare I have a big failure, right? Yeah. Any memorable ones besides last night? There was one, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I mean, I have burned something where I'm like, whoops, I burned that, we're not eating it. There was one time I made, it was like my last batch of all of the turnips for the year, mashed turnips with butter and garlic, delicious. Oh. And I took it off the stove and dumped it on the floor on accident. There was the salty bacon. The salty bacon. Oh, from the pig that had the taint. Oh man, that just, that went... We didn't even feed that to anybody. We just put that in the compost. There was one batch of bacon that was way over salted. And the only way I can remember that we got the salt flavor down enough to make it edible. Edi it wasn't well, edible. Reasonable was, I think we put it in like a stew or something. Yeah, I did that, but it had that boar taint flavor too. So I ended up throwing I all of that away. That. Yeah, you can't taste that. I, I was like, I can't even smell this cooking. It's so bad. So, yeah, that happened. So last night, I looked at the box, and it said, take the crust out. Put the things on the crust. Preheat your oven. Put it in the oven straight on the rack and cook for 12 to 15 minutes. So I followed the instructions. Put it straight on the rack. It was time to take it out of the oven. It was done, right? Yeah, it was done. It was done. Could not unstick it from the racks. I served Tactical and me pizza in a bowl. It just peeled off into this pizza pile. And I looked at him and I'm like, do you want a bowl or a plate? And he said, bowl. I said, here's your bowl of pizza. He eats it without complaint. He just eats it. Tasted like pizza. Tasted like pizza. You just had to eat it with a spoon by that point. So that was a big fail. So he was like, well, we can try again because I have two more cauliflower crusts. And I probably will do that because I can chew. Like, I can chew with my tongue. And I can kind of chew a little on this side of my mouth if I'm careful. As long as it's not anything difficult like a steak. And so I may try that because I've already had the puree. But that's just, I mean, that's just the day. So... Let me know if you like these kind of updates. Let me know what you want to hear from him about, what you want to hear from me about every day. And we may not do it every day. Like tomorrow, I'm not doing it. But I'd like to start getting these out on the regular. So, and if you don't like them, then I won't do them. Cheers.